fumbling around looking, trying to figure out what the hell to do. <laughs> uh, am I going to be surprised when we get in game? Um, well, hopefully. I wanted to make that awesome, um, really haunched over female like I had last time because that was hilarious. <laughs> um, I'll just kind of redo it quickly here. It's like keeping in mind this is like a theocrat who's all like holy and priest like. I mean, that's not. <laughs> That's not priestly at all. That's fucking hair. That's horrible. <laughs> ah. It's like, look so. at this figure that we look up to. <laughs> <laughs> I cast holy spells. <laughs> Mommy, I want to be a theocrat. <laughs> <laughs> this is Age of Omdus 3. If, um, as Yeti likes to put it, it's, um, Heroes of Mind Magic. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Heroes of Mind Magic 3. Meets games like Civ 5, so you've got like a really interesting like you've got a powerful wizard and you have to conquer the world, pretty much with you, and you build like an empire to stand the test of time as Civ calls it and pretty much you've got your yeah, you've got your wizard, you've got to go around and defeat all the other wizards There's a couple, we've got a couple expansions installed so we've got some new victory conditions such as like a sort of king of the hill and like a wonder building victory type so yeah um, you might be able to see in the background yet he's just creating his character. As far as specializations go, I mean, is it really worth... Because you get Adept and then an Unlocked Master. Is it really worth going for that, or is it better just to sort of spread out? Usually the Master specializations give you um, a, a few more spells, which are actually a lot more powerful. Hmm. So, like, I've got Master of Fire selected, and that will give us, like, a ability that just coats the entire map in fire. <laughs> Pretty much the entire battle in fire. Hmm, which damages okay. your own units, by the way. Well, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So I think I went with Master of Fire and Shadowborn of it, which makes my units cheaper, and it's great for being able... Because Adept just gives you, like, the really basic things. Adept gives you about 66% of the skills of the, tri of the um, sort of like the, of the mastery. Well, not, okay. not the mastery, but the specialization. Uh, yeah, so you'll get, like, m like the m the low to medium in spells of that um, specialization. And then once you take master, you get the really powerful ones. So you can either be, like, a, have, like, varied abilities, or you can have, like, one ridiculously powerful one. And wild magic, is that really a thing yet, or...? Oh, uh, um, wild magic, I haven't played with it too much, but there are some really interesting spells, like... I think the mastery lets you get an ability that changes, randomly changes in a, in, um, a unit of yours into um, something a lot equal of greater strength until the end of combat, where they just die, because they've been horribly disfigured into something else. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's really good to use on, like, a... Um, the, a unit that might otherwise die. So if you have like a unit some like 5 HP you just cast that spell on them to get like a dragon or something. God, we'll yeah, see. And you get some pretty cool stuff like like you can get like mutate your units to give them something that can be positive or neutral or negative. Her name's Roger Peacock? Wait, what? That's not <laughs> what? A, that's not a good <laughs> Roger name for her. Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right, I'm good. Ha! So Eternal Lords actually changed quite a bit in terms of like mechanics and features and Yeah, so I introduced a new race that I'm playing, which is the Tigrans. Playing as a Tigran Warlord and Oh, yeah. Yeti is very short. What do you mean very short? You're taking half the portrait screen. Yeah. <laughs> so? <laughs> where is the diplomacy thing at? Whoops. You're talking to me on, in the diplomacy yeah. screen. You're talking to me very grumpily. So we hope <laughs> this alliance will remain beneficial to the both of us. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, there you go. Hey, you're saying the same thing too. Oh, my grumpy as well. I don't really have much to give you. I could give you my holy symbol, which is my uh, my main character's like bow or gun or just that range oh, thing for combat. 
I just hired a um, necromancer hero. What? Straight away? Yeah. That's some bullshit. The He's thing I started a, with. Look at this scythe. Whoa. It's a pretty <laughs> big scythe. Oh my god, I can't even see what he is. There we are. Oh shit. The tiger's pissed. <laughs> red eyes. The thing that always threw me with this game, playing it briefly with my brother, um, the amount of abilities and stuff things have. Like, that hero that you got, Juice Rod the Mystic, he's walking, cavalry, charge, hero, fast healing, mounted, tiger, night vision, predator, athletic, it's like, oh my god. <laughs> but I guess, in a way, you kind of get used to it. Yeah. You know, like, everything's got walking and cavalry, unless it's flying, you know, cavalry just means that it's, you know, gonna be susceptible to pikeman type things, but it's got charge, so it's good against shield units, and... Stuff is pretty sorted, though, if you look at it, like, at the top is the abilities that you can actually use, and the middle is just, like, passive stuff, and then the bottom is, like, your weaknesses. Mm. So that's kind of how I look at it. Okay, yeah, that works. Oh, so shit. You, I usually just scroll down to see the weaknesses and scroll up to see what abilities they have. You guys do bonus damage for uh, attacks of opportunity. Um, do they? Yeah, plus three. So you guys would be really good for, like, in melee, just run up to them and just fortify. Pretty much. So they they attack you, do not much damage, you counterattack, or they try to run away from you, and then you attack of opportunity. Yeah. What is it? The cheetah actually has what is called a pounce. The unit teleports to a hex adjacent to the target and strikes it, entering guard mode afterwards. Oh, shit. Yeah. So you can just, like, teleport, you can just surround them. So that they can't move, and if they do anything, then if they try to run away, then they just get, like, attacked, like, three times by, like, three people are surrounding them. Okay, so let's do this here. Oh, I don't have him yet. Talk to him, buy him. Cool. I like how it's an attack that just makes you go into guard mode as well. Yeah, that's really rare. There's not, like, anything else like that, I don't think. Um, stuff in my territory is already unguarded. We'll be getting that when we grow a little bit, which is guarded by some fairly basic stuff. I can handle that pretty easily with my main army here. I might run out and do that. We're going to be growing in eight turns, and then we gain an area of influence. So within eight turns, I need to do that. What do we got here? Just some mana on the floor? Oh, someone battled. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You lost a battle, sir. <laughs> One Phantasm Warrior with 4 HP left. Are you kidding? It's oh my just a god. Mana node. Dude, you got annihilated. What the hell? Wow. Learn to not auto combat, sir. <laughs> Fucking scrub. I never got to do any research. <laughs> <laughs> that was your main army, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. I have no military units now. <laughs> wow. Well done. Damn it. That's not the way to start the game, because if your main hero dies, you lose research for two or three turns or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Clear all that. Can we restart again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Load your autosave. Uh, oh, I just have to produce some units, and they're not too expensive. Let's see here, I mean, this is this is a gold mine. That's a gold mine. That's a mono node. Um, that is. I don't know what the fuck that is. What is that? What are you? Oh, another gold mine. God, fucking gold mines everywhere. All right, so summoning units probably not in the near future because summoning units require mana for upkeep rather than gold. So since I'm surrounded by just gold things, I may as well just go for the gold stuff. So I'm not going to be doing much summoning. Hey, there's there's one of the chaos spells. Warp equipment. Warps the integrity of equipment at target location. Equipped units and machines within a two hex radius around the target suffer a random penalty to defense and or attack until the end of combat. Mm -hmm. hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to go for that. Yeah, that sounds good. It's yeah. one of the wild magic. Yeah. Yeah, wild magic or chaos magic or whatever it's called in this game. 
And then because it's one of the combat spell things, um, after I do this, it'll unlock another combat spell for me to research. So, cool. And produce something for units, probably. Probably the shrine. Well, that's another thing, too, just generating mana from our town. Hmm. Actually. Go for that. Huh. Oh god, are you doing combat again? What's happening here? Huh. I just love how it's like you load it back in and you like see your character. Mine's just sitting in the void. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yours is dead. <laughs> Damn it. I was about to say, I think when I lost connection, it's like lost this army first turn I guess I'm just gonna take it as like a challenge <laughs> there you go challenge mode okay so I think right I was just selecting production and I was going to go for this haha -ha! and you require orders but I can't really do much with you I guess just kind of bleh and bleh there now, main... no, you're just another side army thing. Where? Oh, right, you're my main army. We'll do that. Abort attack right now. Oh no, those goblins gonna get you. You gonna do the manual combat? Oh, uh, I can't reach him. Oh, um, what well, you can't... does your hero actually have a move? Oh yeah, you can. No, 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 I, yeah, I had this uh, second army I was gonna move up, but yeah, I, I know about that trick. Just selecting somebody who's got a lot and moving them forward and adjacent get pulled in. Alright, so if I do manual combat here, you're still just kind of waiting, right? Um, I'm watching. Oh, you can watch. So I can help you if you have any questions. I'm just watching everything. Oh, well then, that makes that a lot easier. So if you're about to do a big battle, just let me know and I'll head over and spectate. It'll put you in automatically. Oh. Because nothing else in the game can happen while this is happening. Well then, we don't really need to switch footage around then, do we? Uh, I guess if like something happens in the overall map, we could do a quick edit, but... Okay, so it looks like two range units here, they can't move very far though. Um, so if we just kind of step up... ...to here... Whoops, didn't want to do that. Undo! The fuck's this, throw chicken? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's your, um, oh. the farmer's once per combat thing, I think. Yeah. Cool. It just no like... line of sight penalties. No long range damage penalty. Oh, nice. Huh. Alright. Fortify. It must resist a um, six physical um, check or lose half its move points. So it can actually be quite useful stopping a unit moving up. And then we have a gesture here for fireworks. The hell? Must resist or become dazzled. Animals have a chance to become panicked. It's dazzled, do. Um, no idea. Let's have a look. Uh, inflict dazzled. This unit cannot retaliate or make any attacks of opportunity. Hmm. That's pretty fucking cool. All right, so gestures make a pretty nice support unit. Yeah. Just kind of move them up and fortify. Yeah. I don't know too much about halflings other than that their lucky trait is bullshit. It's only 10% now, so it's not hey, super it's terrible. It's bullshit when it becomes 25. <laughs> it's bullshit when it doesn't work for you. <laughs> if you're a athlete, you'd think it's a pretty cool, cool thing. Yeah. Alright, that's the end of that turn. Motherfuckers are just standing there fortifying. Yeah, they, they do that nowadays. They used to just run up and just get themselves killed. Yeah, that's what I was expecting, is I just kind of go behind, like, an obstacle so they have to, you know, go around and get an angle and then I just flank them for massive damage. It was a bit, it was a bit silly when there was just, like, a siege, and they would just walk out the gates and let you kill them. It's like, <clears throat> what? <laughs> You're not doing your job right. My brother had a- motherfuckers, they are, they're just AFKing up there. <laughs> My brother had a, uh, a berserk spell that was pretty bullshit, so when they were just hanging out behind their walls, just chilling, he would just berserk one of them, and they just kind of, you know, chaos ensues. Yeah. So... Mm, Alright, let's go for a spell, what do we got here? Instant Wrath. 50% of damage dealt against target friendly back to its attacker until the end of combat. Hmm. Or... 
or heals. No. Bestows them with six uh, faith thing. I think I was. Uh, what was it? Um, there was a unit back at when the game was launched. It's called the. It was, it was a trebuchet. And it was the most bullshit unit out. You could um you could move its full movement and still fire. So you could just you could kite people. Yeah, trebuchet's still in the game. Yeah, but you you have to have three action points to shoot it. Uh but yeah, you could just use all your action points and then still shoot. Cause it only got one attack anyway. Um Tank tight. It's like, uh, I don't wanna approach. <laughs> I wanna sit here and do nothing. I want them to just run their faces into me and die. That's what I want. I mean, I guess there's the, um, the, the idea that the AIs come up with the only winning moves to not play. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Some war game shit right there. Yeah. Fuck it, we'll just run up there and fortify. They won't do too much damage, I guess. Ugh. And that's got a cooldown. Can trigger up to three times. Yeah, okay, so we'll just, uh... We'll just fortify and we'll start up next turn with that. So now they should move up. At the very least, range attack. No, they're just gonna sit there and shoot you. <laughs> so they ran up to you and did a melee attack. That's bizarre. Um... The, they did poison spit. Yeah, which is a range attack. So yeah, they, they ran up and then and then spit on me. <laughs> yeah, I don't Assholes. know. That's kind of odd. Um, can I run up and throw a chicken to turn them? Whoa. Throw a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> ah, flanking <laughs> bonus, 15 damage. Yeah. There's a tombstone sitting there now. Yeah, they do that now. They turn into tombstones. I don't know what that really does. Um, I think as a necromancer, you can actually raise their bodies to become a new unit on their side. Ah. So you can, like, kill the units and just raise them as, like, a an, an unit as your own. It's really cool. Okay, if I move out to, like, over here, I might be able to throw a chicken in flank. Yeah. Ooh! Critical chicken! <laughs> 25 damage, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I love flanking, because they can't retaliate on that first strike, so it's kind of just like a free hit that does so much damage. Yeah. Otherwise, worst case, I do have the fireworks here, which I should really... use. Um... Same tight. I feel like I'm being overly cautious, but oh well. Not really. Because a lot of damage can be done really quickly. Hmm. I mean, he's pretty screwed now, because he's got cavalry in range and... Flinking and charge. Oh yeah, guaranteed chance to kill him. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, they went. <laughs> they almost went down that pit, holy crap. There we go, see if I did auto combat, I would have lost like the Pony Riders or some shit, which is a tier 2 unit, and that ain't cool. Yeah, stupid auto combat. <laughs> auto combat's dumb. <laughs> made me lose my entire army to this Phantasmoric who got a rank, what an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he ranked up too with like 2 yes. health left. He nearly ranked up twice. <laughs> Bummer. He's on 44 out of 45 XP. Regroup, and then just kinda... Bleh, out of move points. This guy still needs to move? You kidding me? Alright, head over to, uh, Cartographer Tent, I guess. Explore more of the map. Ooh! Hey. Is that a town? Looks like it. But I don't really know how to get to it. Hmm. 
Right, that's the end of my lengthy turn. 